Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two masses in the caldi sac. As you can see the scanning of the uterus and two large masses are seen in the caldi sac area attached to the posterior wall of the uterus. The recto uterine pouch also known as various other names for example pouch of Douglas in obstetrics and gynecology it is most commonly referred as the posterior cul-de-sac. The recto uterine pouch also known as recto vaginal pouch cul-de-sac or pouch of peritoneum between the posterior wall of the uterus and the rectum in of course females. The pouch of Douglas, also known as recto uterine pouch and posterior cul de sac, is bordered interiorly by posterior wall of the uterus and posteriorly by the recto sagamoid colon. It is lined by peritoneum, which originates from the remnants of the malarian system and uh, which doesn't participate in organogenesis. You can see the two large masses in the caldi sac and of course these masses are protruding inwards the posterior wall of the uterus. Now you can see the measurement of this these two masses collectively and these measures both masses measure collectively as 9.1 centimeter into 8.4 centimeter but you can see both the masses lying attached to either each other adjacent to each other this is the mass and this is the second mass both the masses are visible in the caldi sac and individually both these masses measure about 7.0 cm into 3.8 cm and the other mass measures about 6.7 cm into 4.5 cm. Now again you can see both the masses And both these masses lie attached to the posterior wall of the uterus. Now the pouch of Douglas is seen having two masses. Menstrual blood that has refluxed through the fallopian tubes and fluid related to ovulation or ruptured cysts settle in it in the pouch of Douglas or caldi sac. Likewise, the blood from a ruptured ectopic pregnancy, inflammatory debris from a pelvis and appendicular infections and ascites due to malignancy liver or cardiac failure may collect here in this area now you can see the assist right ovarian cyst this is a cyst and this is ovarian cyst right ovarian cyst a small amount of fluid in the caldi sac is normal and usually not of concern if the fluid samples if the fluid sample shows signs of pus or blood the area may need to be drained sometimes blood can be a result of a ruptured cyst or sign of an ectopic pregnancy now the fluid or blood in the Pouch of Douglas may be a feature of tubal pregnancy that is aborting or that has ruptured. Again you can see the mass 
both the masses. Now, caldocentesis is a medical procedure involving extraction of fluid from the pouch of Douglas through a needle. Presence of fluid within the caldi sac is common finding and the underlying cause can be, can be thought of as either physiological or pathological. Now the physiological causes are physiological pelvic intraperitoneal fluid in women may be due to ruptured follicles, retrograde menstruation, increased in ovarian permeability due to estrogen influence and now the other pathological causes may be ruptured ectopic pregnancy, pelvic inflammatory disease, tubo ovarian abscess, pelvic abscess, hematoma, ascites following cultosynthesis. The, you can see both the masses are semi-solid to solid in consistency, are round to oval in shape and are lying adjacent to each other and this is the fundus of the uterus, uterus. this is cervix. Now this is one of the masses, this is the other mass. Again in this picture you can find, see the, both the masses. And this is the ovarian cyst. Endometrial nodules in the pouch of Douglas, uterosacral ligament and the reptovaginal septum are generally larger and deeper than the ordinary implants. They do not usually respond to drug treatment, so they must be removed surgically. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please.